Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another video. It has just finished the game, our second pre-season game in the build-up to the new season of course against Geisley. It has finished Huddersfield Town 7, Geisley 0. I mean, yeah, this game was another impressive game for us. It really was. I really enjoyed watching us play. And... Um, there were a few standout players in each, each half. We're going to get into the lineups in a moment. And um, yeah, no, but look, things are going very well so far. And things to be, you know, really promising signs. You know, and you, 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 you know, it's not, you know, we've got every right to kind of feel a bit excited by it. You know, because, you know, we're really, we're really playing well. And, and you know, there's, a, there's an identity on that pitch again. You know, you can see the Michael Duff way. The way he wants to play and everything, it's we haven't had that for ages. We, I, well, I personally did have no what we've been, you know, kind of identity wise, what we've been trying to do on the pitch for a while now. So the fact that we've got that and the foundations have already been set in place for, 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 by Duff, um, yeah, it's it's really really good. But obviously, there were two different. Um, uh, starting 11s for this game instead of the obviously it, it was free last week with 30 minutes each 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 time but we did obviously uh, each squad each uh, each half uh, both sets of teams had 45 minutes each so we've stepped it up again now and um like i said everybody else everybody's come um away Injury free, which is always what I kind of worry about in preseason. You don't want to get any serious injuries from any of your key players, and also, yeah, well, any injuries really, you don't want to get them, do you? Uh, but yeah, the first lineup, as you can see on the screen, I'm going to put it up on the screen. Uh, Chris Maxwell started in goal, um, Sorensen, Brody Spencer, Matty Pierce, and Ruffles, and Jonathan Hogg, Ben Jackson, Tom Iapenda. Uh, Danny Ward, Josh Karoma, and Sorba Thomas was the first lineup, guys. So look, I mean, honestly, I have to pick out a few players, but only let's go through the, how, how the game panned out as well. So Tom Iapender uh, opened the score inside three minutes. A really good finish, you know, really calm, compo composed, and um, yeah, he really, really notched it up a level this week once again. I, I like what I saw from him last week against Emily, to be honest with you, but Tom Iapender, by the way, anyone who doesn't know, obviously he's one of our uh, youngsters, obviously 19 years of age, and uh, he's a midfielder, and very much, very much loves driving forward, and he'll bring the players up with him as well, and, you know, find a pass, and he's shown that he can finish as well. So, honestly, we're going to get into him... Um, at the end of the first half to kind of summarize but he really was unbelievable in this game uh, in in this half that he played uh josh cromer doubled the lead again josh cromer you know a point to prove again this season can he find that consistency for us uh, for a full season rather than in patches which is what we've seen over the over the well it's been here five years hasn't he? he's been on and off hasn't he really for the past five years so but yeah uh, he made it too, a really nice finish, and um, <coughs> and yeah, it was it was a great great combination, and Chroma um, making a run into that box, picking up the loose ball um, ahead of the defender for Geisley, and um, yeah, into the top right hand corner to double the lead, um, and then for the third goal, Tom Iapenda again in the act, combining with Chroma, and. Um, Obviously, JK uh, smashing it home from close range for 3-0. Um, that was obviously the halftime 3-0. So, well, look, a few standout players in this half. And I have to mention, the first player I have to mention, the, the biggest standout has to be Tom Ipender. He was unbelievable. You know, the composure on the ball, you know, great eye for a pass. The ball under control all the time. You know, running at the defenders, very busy in that midfield, involved in obviously two out of the three goals as well. Honestly, I think <clears throat> he's really showcasing what he's about now, and he's really pushed on. You can see he's worked hard over the worked hard um, over the summer, and now I've seen pre-season. Now he's paying dividends, and he looks 
really good, Re really, really good. And I think, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him break into the first team in, this, in, in the new season. I think he can be a really big player for us. I'm not, I'm not going over the top, by the way, guys. Obviously, I have um, obviously seen him in the past few games, um, and he has looked, he has looked completely at home in in that midfield, completely um, unfazed by anything. And uh, yeah, no, I thought he was outstanding in that first half. Definitely one of the outstanding players of the half. And yeah, he, he's a real superstar. So great, great half for him. Um, I also liked um, Lasse Sorensen again, again, getting down that wing, you know, taking on his man as well and uh, always looking to get forward at every opportunity. You can see that with the wing backs. That's what Duff wants from his wing backs to make sure they do get forward a lot and they're able to do that too. But Sorensen put in a few good balls as well and uh, yeah, no, he looked very good again. So obviously, you know, 45 minutes now, all these players have, have had now. Obviously, Hogg returned to the side as well. He didn't obviously play in the first game, so he was back in the side. So he came through that 45 minutes. Fine. Um, Josh Cromer is another one. Again, I thought Josh Cromer was outstanding. I think he obviously got a couple of goals as well and looked very lively, bright, you know, making those runs. And um, we've always known with Josh that he's got the ability. I just think he's just, like I said earlier... He's very hot and cold. It's that consistency that prob that's the problem with him. He can't seem to find it. And hopefully that changes this season. But no, I, I think he was really good in the in the 45 minutes that he played. And uh, yeah, really, really, really good to see it. Well, hopefully that'll help his confidence. Um, <coughs> players that I wasn't so impressed with. Danny Ward. I mean, look, Danny Ward had a, a glorious chance again today. In fact, he had two chances, I think. The first one... You know, uh, he should have scored. And the second one, the free header, and uh, couldn't find it on target. So, well, Danny Ward is already showing that he's not, you know, the guy to take us forward into the new season as our leading striker. We kind of already knew that really, didn't we? Really? Obviously, Healy. I know Duff does like to put that 3 5 2. So, obviously, again, that was on display today. Which, again,. It's really nice to have two strikers up front, isn't it? You know, we've been wanting that for quite a while, as, as, you know, to be honest with you, haven't we? I think, uh, well, I certainly have anyway, but I think most champions will agree with me on that as well. Uh, so to have two strikers up there, I just think it's brilliant. But yeah, the system seems to be working very effectively at the moment and uh, it's really exciting to watch the speed of the play as well, the tempo, uh, passing the ball quickly, you know, getting the ball forward everybody's making runs everybody is trying to you know when the midfield when the midfield is on the ball one of the midfielders is on the ball you can see this number of players making runs and uh you know looking for that ball you know that looking for that pass through through from the midfielder so no it, it's, it's really really good so far to me um and yeah no so yeah for me the best player in that half has to be tom Ipender. Um, and uh, really promising signs from him and uh, I think uh, he he's certainly one to look out for um, going into the new season for sure um, now the second half of course um, we had a brand new 11 as I said we did change at half time so um, so in goal we did have Jacob Chapman uh, we had Pat Jones Jaheim Headley uh, Josh Osterfield, Ben Wiles, David Kasumu, Mikhail Helic, uh, Ollie Turton, Redinio Balka, Reese Healy, and Bojan Radulovic. Of course, Nichols was on the bench in both halves. Um, I think, to be honest with you, we know what Nichols is about, don't we? And I think Duff knows what he's about too. So I think giving the other two keepers um, game time makes sense just to see a bit more of them, see how they get on. So yeah, he didn't obviously come on at all in the game, but yeah. That was our second um, half team. Um, now, Reese Healy making it 4 0, virtually straight from the kickoff. A really nice goal from him, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Build the team around this guy up front. Obviously, we'll hopefully have somebody up there with him that will be able to be as clinical as him. Uh, but, Build the team around him because he is going to be unbelievable in League One. If he can stay fit, 
he's going to get double figures easily, guys. Honestly, um, I think you know he's showing that he's a lot fitter. He looks a lot fitter. That in fact, the whole team look a lot fitter to be honest with you. And I remember when Duff came in, um, that was one of his principles that the players need to be come, come back ready, fit, and uh, re raring to go. So look, and they've certainly done that. But yeah, good finish by Healy, and um, it was good to see him get on the score sheet. Didn't take him long. Um, now, the next goal came from Ben Wiles, who, again, I have really like. Look, I kind of criticised him quite a bit last season, to be honest with you. Maybe people will sit here and, and say, you know, you were too harsh on him. I don't think I was. I think, you know, he came in to obviously do a job, and he was very underwhelming. Um, you know, obviously... Fit, he, he never really looked fit in the scenes, did he? And uh, yeah, he really struggled. But fresh lit, fresh start, fre clean slate, and uh, Ben Wiles, credit where credit's due. This was a great finish from him. Um, and, you know, Ben Wiles is looking a lot sharper, a lot fitter as well, individually. And, and, and yeah, it's great to see. Um, he will be a, a key player for us um, in the new season. Uh, from these early signs, which is good. Uh, now, we scored our sixth goal. Again, a great move, this. Radulovic getting on the score sheet, which for me is another big boost because I think that, you know, I think for me, you know, him, obviously, you could see he was kind of lacking in confidence a bit you know, last season as well. Obviously, he got his nice goal at Stoke, but apart from that, was very poor. It wasn't involved in the squad a few times as well, even though he was available. So I'm not sure what happened there. But yeah, no, look, I think this will do his confidence as well. They'll get in a goal in pre-season, you know, let's see. Can he build on that now? Get a, get another, you know, get another goal maybe next week um, in our next friendly. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, the, the link-up play between Headley and Bojan for this um, sixth goal was really nice. And uh, I was really impressed by it, you know. Um, and then to finish it off, the man himself, the ginger cafe we name him around these parts, Ollie Turton, scores a lovely finish from just outside the penalty area. Great finish. And um, yeah, really, really nice strike, wasn't it? And, you know, that brought a big smile to my face, definitely, because, you know, we know what, what Ollie's gone through the past 18 months and, yeah, obviously with injuries and stuff. So, yeah, no, it was really nice to see him back, you know, back in the act in the goal. But also, just, just just to see him on the pitch, to be honest with you, you know, full pre-season under his belt and he'll be really a good player for us in the new season. He'll be, play a big part in, in, in our uh, new season. But, but, yeah, I mean, look, players that I was impressed with in that set. So, obviously, we see, saw out the game. Um, at 7-0 it finished of course now let's have a look at a few of these players that I was quite impressed by in this game, in this half Healy obviously got took his goal well and uh, looked very lively always making those runs really good uh, but Ben Wiles for me again another player that you know really really is showing what he's capable of in the past few games you know first two games pre-season looked really sharp really bright really fit as well and uh yeah, he's contributing as well with the goals in the past few games too. So that's great to see. Uh, Pat Jones. Pat Jones is looking really good too for me at the moment. I think uh, hopefully he can, another one that we hope can stay injury free. Um, and yeah, obviously he looks good. Um, obviously he utilizes a wing back in this game. Uh, be interesting to see if Duff actually plays him for, you know, in, in, in a more advanced role in the midfield or if he keeps him at wing back. Um, because obviously we have got quite a few options at wing back, um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just going to wait and see. But I thought he did well. You know, really drives the ball forward, doesn't he? Never, never shies away from uh, you know getting the ball in the box and uh, driving at the defenders and that pace as well, skill. So yeah, really good from Pat Jones. Hopefully he can keep it up and hopefully he can stay injury free. Um, who else was I impressed by in that? David Kasumu looked good, obviously spraying those balls through there, trying to make things happen, get, getting stuck in. He looks good as well, so I think he was great. Um, 
That made me jump. Somebody beeping the horn outside. Uh, Mikael Helic again, we know what he's about. Brilliant to see him back out there once again in this game. Um, Balka, I mean, Balka looked good. A few shaky moments, um, but he did recover at one point when he lost, ended up losing the ball. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, hopefully he can build on these performances. And Oli Turton, Oli Turton was brilliant as well. But uh, And Josh Osterfield, to be fair, I've gone through all the team here. But honestly, there were so many positives out of this game, and I just think, you know... Um, obviously, it is worth noting, by the way, obviously, our new signings, obviously, um, Herbie Kane, you know, Anthony Evans and Mikel Miller um, weren't available for this game. I know that uh, Herbie Kane and Anthony Evans uh, was watching on from the stands, obviously, met a few fans as well, which is nice to see, you know. And, um, yeah, I think because they've just come in, obviously, you know, Duff wants to just see a bit more of them obviously he knows what they're about of course well especially Herbie Kane have worked with me before but I think they just need a bit more pre, you know a bit more um, bit more, bit, a few more training sessions and uh, they'll be ready to go I'm pretty sure we'll see them next week uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they get on next week but yeah look this game overall you know plenty of positives and people say you know well I don't know but for me, people say, oh, it's guys, you know, still a non-league side, don't get too carried away. I'm not getting too carried away here, by the way. I'm just saying what I see, and I have been really encouraged by what I've seen in the past opening two games, uh, despite the opposition. And I think, for us, you know, pre is always about fitness, yeah, but we're scoring goal, we're really playing well. But that makes a big difference, because the year we've had, you know, these players, obviously... You know, we need, getting back to winning football matches, I don't care who the opposition is, if you can start, if you can do well in pre-season, yeah, people can say maybe it doesn't count for anything when you go into season, but it does because there's a momentum, you know, there's a positivity and there's a confidence. And, um, you know, I think it's, it, is, it is good to see as, you know, we've scored, you know, a number of goals in these games, obviously 12 goals now in two games. And, um, yeah, no, it's looking really, really good, and I'm really encouraged. So, good run out for the lads. Um, stepped it up again, like I say, with an extra 15 minutes for everybody, which is good. No injuries, which is good. And um, I think, for me, it would be good to see um, how we can build on this now. Obviously, the biggest test coming up next week. We do up the level again next week against... Harrogate Town, who obviously are League Two, so we're going to the Football League now with opposition. So that's a big step, and I think that'll be that that game will show us where we're really at in terms of you know where we're really at in terms of you know progress you know in pre-season, and uh, it will really show us what where we're actually at in terms of everything really. If you get me, so well, no great run out today, great victory, confidence built again, and uh, the the lads are looking really in good shape and. Uh, really working well together and I'm really liking what I'm seeing from a Michael Duff system and uh, like I said the identity is clear you know what he expects we can see already what what is to come from this and, and even better you know this is only in the opening two games you know and uh, so yeah no brilliant brilliant game today and I really enjoyed it and uh, yeah let's see what the week brings in terms of you know maybe one more one or two more signs who knows we've had a busy week haven't we in terms of transfers this past last week but let's see what happens this week and obviously um in the build up to the game next saturday of course against harrogate town um away so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope really I really hope you like this video please do make sure you drop a like subscribe uh, join us on this journey um, I really appreciate everybody that just subscribed. So we're nearly, we're getting towards that 500 mark, guys, slowly but surely. So hopefully you, you guys can help me if you haven't already subbed or if you can share the channel around as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, on this game as well. What did you make of it if you watched it? And if you was there, let me know in the comments. But yeah, until next time, guys, have a good rest of the day, whatever you do. Um, and uh, have a good rest of the weekend, to be fair. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon. A Huddersfield Town live show, the weekly shows that we're doing, um, I'm going to be doing that on Monday afternoon, so I hope you can join me for that. And um, a few more bits and pieces to come as well. England, of course, playing today. 
Um, so there'll be a match reaction out um, later on tonight. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. But yeah, uh, I'll see you all on the next one.